Well, hello, all you Diablo 2 fans. Welcome back to another video. Today, I thought I would give you guys a little bit of my perspective, how I feel about certain rune words. I'm going to give you Willie D's top five best rune words that I think are pretty great. They might not be the best to you. You might have better ones or different ones other than me, but this is what I like and this is what tickles my pickle. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys exactly what they are and how to use them best. Starting off the countdown is going to be my absolute favorite. Number five is going to be the stealth rune word. One of the first ones that you can make. And I got to say, uh, after playing classic, we started up classic, one of these past ladders. I did a classic sorceress for the first time ever. When I first started playing this game, I came in at LOD. I never got to play it in the initial stages of this game. And uh, classic threw me through the ringer. Let me tell you what. And it was playing classic that helped me realize just how much I love the stealth rune word. Oh my goodness. You wouldn't think right off the jump that it's anything too special, but you can make it so early, so cheaply, and it gives you a lot of nice benefits. Honestly, for me, the main thing that I really like about the stealth is the faster run walk. I am a faster run walk fiend. And as soon as you get to equip that at level 17, you just start ripping around the map and it just feels a lot better. It also comes with a nice big chunk of faster cast rate, which is pretty nice when you're starting out and some faster hit recovery as well. And then there's poison res dexterity and a bunch of stamina, which really, really helps out those early games because when it's starting out early game, I'm always chugging those stamina pots. I don't got time to wait. So stealth, is so huge for getting you going, getting you moving and just propelling you through the game. So stealth is definitely one of my favorites and it's definitely earned its number five spot on this countdown. Number four on this countdown is going to be one of those rune words that you can make so early, just like the stealth. And it is oh so nice when you're starting out. I am of course talking about the lore rune word or soul. The soul is about as expensive as you're going to get. You can get souls to drop pretty doggone early, even, you know, normal cows trying to farm for that, or even in act five, when you're tooling around, you can get that soul pretty quick. So I would, you know, focus on Eldritch or Shank killing them over and over again until that soul shows up for you. But that lore is just so doggone nice. Big old chunk to lightning res mana after kill and one to all skills. So early, so strong and powerful, and often I'll find myself in hell and haven't even upgraded it because it's doing exactly what it needs to do. Very, very nice piece of equipment, and it can carry you really, really far. And it's especially useful when you are playing hardcore because that lightning res is always, always nice to have. You got to watch out for those doggone souls. They're hunting for you. And of course, who could forget about the plus two to light radius? Oh my goodness. Light radius is huge. You wouldn't think it'd be a big deal, but man, being able to see, it's a nice thing. And that'll take care of number four on the spot, which moves us on to number three on the countdown. And my number three today is a rhyme rune word. Rhyme is so, so nice, so useful and versatile and can be used on a couple different characters uh, depending on what you're going to be doing with them. So essentially what that provides is gives you a nice big chunk of MF but what it really, really provides and what I tend to use it for is cannot be frozen. Cannot be frozen is very, very useful for physical and casters alike. So cannot be frozen is a nice thing that you can snag early with this shale F rune word and put it into any shield you can find to socket or a necro head. Necros love a good stealth, man. Toss it in there and uh, with a bunch of skills, you'll be rocking and rolling. Along with the all res, the MF and the cannot be frozen, you're going to get a nice little chunk to your gold, increased chance of blocking and faster block rate. So all in all, this is a solid, solid rune word that you can make again, very early, very cheap, and you might get very far into hell before you even realize you need to upgrade it, depending on where your resistances are at. But a nice big chunk of res and cannot be frozen definitely makes this the number three on my spot. One of my favorite rune words for sure. Number two on this countdown for today is, of course, going to be the super useful across any dang character is going to be the spirit rune word. Oh, my goodness. What an absolute behemoth this rune word is you use it on any character all characters you use it in weapons you use it in shields it is super powerful very cheap to make and can really make the difference when you are trying to vanquish the hordes of hell i mean what else can you really say about the spirit rune word my goodness 
two to all skills, faster cast rate, faster hit recovery, a great big chunk to mana. These things are incredible. And like I said, being able to put it on your weapon, being able to put it on your armor, just gives you that incredible versatility to put it where you need to. Unfortunately, spirit shields for some classes are locked out until you can hit that 156 strength requirement to put it in a monarch. But classes like a paladin can force socket a shield and have it far, far earlier than that for a lot cheaper too. So paladins definitely get the best end of the stick on that one. But like I said, spirits are fantastic for any and all classes to be able to use them anywhere you need to. And now the weapons actually get a bunch of life leech and they get poison damage as well, which, you know, could go a little ways if you're trying to do that kind of thing, but typically spirit swords are used for casters. So you're not really going to use this for physical, but you know, if you're feeling froggy, I'm not going to diminish your dreams. Now for the spirit shield, you do get a big old chunk of res, but you do have to keep in mind that it doesn't give you fire. It gives you poison, cold and lightning. So you will have to off balance that fire a little bit somehow, depending on what kind of class you're using and where you want to make that up at. But uh, yeah, a little lagging on the fire. So you make that up on a charm or elsewhere and you'll be good to go. So number two is fitting for spirit because there's two choices for the spirit. So two for number two spirit on the number two countdown. One of the best rune words in the game. And that my friends brings us on to number one. What is my number one rune word in this game? Well, shocking to some of you, it's going to be the one and the only hell Low. Oh yes, I do love a good hello when I see one. Hello there. Hello gives you incredible faster cast rate, enhanced damage, enhanced defense, MF, gold, skills. It gives you a brand new puppy. It does your taxes for you. I'm just kidding. Hello's not a real rune word. It should be. But it's not. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? My number one top rune word, shocker, I hate to say it, I do love that enigma. God oh, dang it, I hate that everything's rounded around it. But you'd be surprised, teleport is not my favorite reason to have this armor. My favorite part of the enigma is the faster run walk. People think I'm so weird for saying that, but I love the faster run walk. Getting around town faster is so nice. It gives you a great big chunk of that along with everything else. It gives you plus the skills and MF and of course the ability to teleport that is kind of irreplaceable. So it's, it definitely deserves the spot in the number one spot in the countdown here, but uh, not for the reason that you would think faster run walk for me. That is why I like it. That's why it has the number one spot. It is expensive to get there for sure. It is one of the end game gears and uh, it rightfully so because of all the stats that it gives you. I do try at any opportunity to try to use any other kind of armors without that because, you know, it's nice to have some different choices in the world. But undeniably, Enigma is very strong. And for that reason, it gets the number one spot on my top favorite rune words of all time. And that's going to do it, my friends. Uh, just top five rune words. Let me know down in the comments, what are your favorite rune words? What are some obscure rune words that people hardly ever use that you really like? Let me know down in the comments or even what would be some fun rune words for them to add. I do know that they have rune words in the code that still haven't been released yet. I would love to take a look at those and see what they are at one point and uh, see what could possibly be coming at us in the future. I haven't given up hope. I don't think they're done updating Diablo 2, so I'm going to cling to my hope and uh, we'll see how that works out. But thank you for watching this video, my friends. I will have new content out every Tuesday for you to enjoy. Thank you for your time, your attention. It always means the world to me. Until next time, peace, homies.